2.5 billion naira, that's the rough estimate of funds disbursed to kidnappers as ransom in Zamfara State since the commencement of banditry about a decade ago. Former National Secretary and Chieftain of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Abdullahi Shinkafi, made the revelation, adding that about 25,000 widows and orphans have been displaced since crisis started. Correspondent Theophilos Tarofai reports. The resurgence of banditry and kidnapping in Nigeria's northwest region is alarming, especially the mass abduction of students in Kasina, Niger, and the latest in Jengebe and Forest States. Many have the opinion that some politicians are responsible for the evil act which has bedeviled the north and has affected economy and social activities. These necessitated the federal government to declare them for a no-fly zone and ban all mining activities to curtail the menace. At this press conference here in Shinkafi for a State, a chieftain of the All Progressive Grand Alliance has raised objection about the no-fly zone instituted on Zamfara State. He believes instituting the measure on Zamfara State alone will not achieve much results. He wants it extended to Adama, Bernu, Yobi, Niger, Kaduna and other states affected by Boko Haram insurgents and banditry. When they are planning, when they are declaring no fly zone, why don't they declare no fly zone in Mungunu in his own local government in Bono State, where Boko Haram took over Mungunu for over 11 years? If you say they are declaring no fly zone, why didn't they declare bo uh, no fly zone in Yopi, where also Boko Haram took over that place? If you are saying you are declaring no fly zone, why didn't they no play, they declare no fly zone in Kaduna, in the Niger State, Kogi State, Nasara State? All these things have been uh, taken over by unbanded headsmen and criminal classes. Let us not be sentimental. The Zamfara top politician wants President Mahmoud Bari to act fast and intervene in securing the north from banditry and other form of criminality before it consumes the entire region. He is disturbed that many lives have been lost, properties destroyed, widows and offers displaced to insecurity. More than 2.8 billion has been paid a ransom. More than 25,000 opens were thrown out on the street without anybody to take care of them and to bring them off. So Zampara and in the northern Nigeria and Nigeria is on time for. The abduction of the Jengibe school girls is still fresh in the minds of many and it's not surprising that many leaders are calling for a thorough investigation and scrutiny of all politicians in Zamfara State. Banditry and kidnapping in Nigeria's northwest region remains a concern for many. Many are now demanding a collective approach to tackling it especially in states like Kaduna, Zamfara, Sokoto, Katsina and Niger states. Theophilus Darufai, TVC News, Shinkafi.